Okay, so who would like to be the first to present in this room? Uh, I would like to nominate Fazura to present. Fazura! Okay, everybody, when I count one, two, three, I want everybody to shout Fazura! Okay, one, two, three. Fazura! 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 Okay, Fazura! Share your screen. Wow, sewing, sewing, yeah, okay. Uh, hi, everyone. Good, good morning. Uh, so today I'm very excited. So sorry, hold on. All right, so uh, I'm very happy and uh, excited to share with all of you um, about sewing. So, uh, so I will start with uh, basically why I choose sewing uh, is because um, I actually uh, looking forward to become a fashion designer before. Oh, yeah. you but, want to become a fashion designer, yeah, okay. Yes, because uh, I'm just, uh, out of my curiosity, it's like, uh, basically, I want to learn, but one hundred meter away from fire, and then just aim the holes at the fire. Aim low at the fire, okay? After okay. that, can you use the uh, screen show? But again, sorry? On the screen show, make it big. Enlarge, the, okay. enlarge your slide. Hold on, hold on. Make your slide bigger, yeah. Yeah, let's see. Okay. There, present. Can you click on the present ah, button? Ah, okay. Hold on, a bit slow. Then. My yeah, okay, good. Okay, then. Uh, all right, and then, hey, wait, hold on. <laughs> then after that, you see the lever there? Just squeeze it slowly. After once, you already aim at the fire, but make sure that you, um, at least 200 meters apart from the fire, okay? Uh -huh. and then 200 meters? Hold it, hold it tight. Huh? How many meters away from the fire? 50 to 100 meters, sorry. <laughs> okay, yes. and then, yeah, don't, don't go very near to it. 100 meters, you know how far 100 meters is? Mm. Slip of tongue. Ah, yeah. One meter. One meter, yeah, 100 <laughs> meters. Yeah. <laughs> Even, uh, I don't need to be there so far. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, again, uh, cut, 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 cut. Okay, make uh. sure you have a um, I mean, uh, 0 0.5 or uh, let's say one meter to two meter uh, apart from the okay. fire. Okay, uh. hmm. and then grip it nicely, sweep the nozzle from side to side. Okay, base of the fire. All right, so. Slowly, if, if the surely, slowly the fire. Uh, like difference, difference number and patterns of the uh, fabric, but it turns uh it turns out that the items, the blankets look good when you combine uh when you combine difference and different designs of the fabrics. So these are the easy sewing projects that you can start with. And then what are the challenges that you might run into a, a sewing when you start? So firstly, you, firstly, you might uh, face like a uh, needle keeps breaking. Maybe when you use, uh, when, when you use sewing machines. Uh, so uh, it can happen. Um, it just need a practice and patience. So from there, uh, I think you can like 
um, familiar and adapt with the challenges. So you might also face uneven. Okay, so who's turn to present next? <laughs> me, me. Yeah, Elon. Okay, Elon. Yeah, all right, Elon. Yes, with it. Hold on, yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Elon. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm very excited here today to share with everyone okay. uh, a magic, a very simple magic trick for dinner. So, okay. uh, yeah, so it, it's, it's good to know, it's good to learn, so you can uh, share it with your friend during gathering, uh, so, uh, to, so you can like, improve the relationship, so have a, uh, has a ice-breaking session. So it's, a, it's, a, it's a something that is very easy and also uh, nice to learn. Okay, so, yes. Yeah. Yes. Continue, continue, yeah. Should I continue? Yeah, continue. Okay. Ah, good. Okay. So the magic trick that I want to share with everyone is very simple and easy. How to make a pencil flirt in the palms of your hand. Yeah, that's the magic that I want to share with everyone. Uh, anyone know how, how, how it can be done? No, I don't know how. So let me share with you, with everyone. Okay, so let me go to my next slide. So you, you have like kind of hold your, hold your hand with the pencil, hold it tight, then after that you release it. So that's, that's the, the, how, the process. So you just in, you just hold the hold the pencil and release it, and uh, the part, uh, the audience will see oh how come it's flirting in the in the in the air on your palm. So so ah. that's how you how you demonstrate the the magic. But from the back, so I'm going to review now how you can do it. Ah okay. No 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 how yeah, okay so next slide how 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 you do it. Mm. So, okay. Is ah, it that's how. This is how you do it. So you have another pencil with, with a, with a band on 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 your on your hand. So you, you put a put 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 another pen, pencil. Uh, there first. So you just need to, uh, put put the put the pencil you want to show them flirting in the air. Uh, okay. the of the other pencil, mm -hmm. so it kind of like uh, it kind of like will, will stick and hold hold that pencil from falling down uh to the to the table. So by using this simple trick, you can make a pencil kind of like flirt or attach to your palm without fall, falling down. So isn't it something very easy and yeah. simple, and yeah, at the yeah. same time. You and, and these are the things that you can easily get uh, around you in the table. And once you have, it turns it, it turns good when I saw. So my brother also happy when uh when she when he looked for uh when he looked her school uh when he looked his school batch. Is it, it like hand sewing or machine? Yeah, it's a it's a hand sewing. I I do not have. Uh, opportunity to learn using a machine I'm looking that for because but it's actually time consuming you I'm I'm totally do not know how to use that sewing machine so I think if you ask me I need to take a class to start with uh, using your sewing machine uh -huh. oh, very good. because yeah. actually I'm doing sewing as well so I did saw a few couples of clothes like baju kurung and all but yeah, that, that was last time, ages ago. Yeah, well, you, you, you can sew baju kurung, Ton. Yes, I can, I can. I did, I do, oh. I, I, I do take a class last time, like back to 10 years back. So uh. I, I, I do saw like a couple of like baju kurung kedah, the simple things, and then uh, just the basic skirts for the kids. Uh. Yeah. But people then tell, I, like, people it, tell me the difficult part is not the sewing. 
The difficult part is cutting. Cutting the material. Ah. So, so I, 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 ask, I ask them, how, how do you learn how to cut? Very simple. Get, a, get, a, uh, get the clothes that you like to wear. Mm -hmm. Then you open the stitches. Put it on the new material and cut, follow. Ah, it ah. will be cut, cut lah. <laughs> ah, and then you sew it back again, everything. It's good, it's good, it's good tips. Ah, Maybe I cut. <laughs> ah yang mana you suka? Don't you buka, lepas tu you potong, lepas tu you cek balik lah. Ah. <laughs> ah, that's how you copy the, the you copy the cutting. How do we? Ah. It's ah. interesting actually. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Okay, okay. Designer. Okay, very good. Okay, everybody, clap. One, two, three, clap. Okay, everybody, when I count one, two, three, I want all of you to shout. Incredible! Okay, one, two, three. Incredible! Incredible! Okay, okay, go, go, go. Next one. Okay. I'll come and meet your room in a while, yeah? Yes. The other room. 650, one thin, one big bottle. So you can just mix with water and you can use it to mop your floor. Hand any gesture. place that you like. Sorry? And just uh, show your hand. <laughs> okay, mop your floor. So any place you like at home yes any place you like at home and it, the the amount of the vinegar is up to you uh but can be slightly stronger if you actually or, or slightly lighter if you don't like the the smell but actually the smell can go very fast yeah so it's fine yeah and so I, we like to do this and it's also actually is like uh to prevent bacteria as well and even though now today because of the covid previously uh yeah i mean that time previous time was quite bad right so actually you yeah. wipe it and actually uh also dust is um uh, not easy not easy to stick on the floor actually uh -huh. yes and then so it will actually ease your uh your headache means that from sad face become happy face yeah so it's actually, actually a very simple step that uh yeah i i can tell everyone yes <laughs> that's uh -huh. all yeah. Okay, okay, everybody. Yeah. Any question for any? Any? No. Yes. Any, any? Is is vinegar antiseptic? Uh yes. Ah, so you can use it to kill germs as well, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. So you can so now actually, yeah, you can kill germs. Yes, no problem. Even though um sometimes when you have wound on your hand your toes you can also mix water with vinegar you soak inside and it actually can get cured very fast uh, yes okay 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 mm. very good antiseptic yeah yeah okay any other question there was a question just now Okay, if there are no questions, then get ready, everybody. When I count one, two, three, I want everybody to shout, Oh, yeah! Okay, one, two, three. Oh, oh yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I learned my Chinese uh, from Jackie Chan. Yeah. Oh, okay, Jackie Chan. Yeah. You like his movie? <laughs> Uh, okay. I was born in Nepal, so Cantonese boy, yeah. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Yeah. Okay. Thank next. you. Okay, well done, well done. Can we have next? Who's next? No, that's all. All done. Oh, all done. Finish already, right? finish. Yeah. Okay, done. check the other room. Next time is very important, which is 6 to 8 a.m. and also 5 to 7 p.m. This is where it's the best time that the plants can absorb a lot of water in a in a good way. Okay, and um, 
I mean, like sometimes you know that we are traveling outside. We go, I mean, like we go back to our hometown and all. So we don't have time to plant our, uh, sorry, we don't have time to do watering for our plants. So what will happen, right? That's so right. You, if you have got much money, so you can do the, you know, the setting of the pipe. But then uh, if you yeah. can see that the, the, the picture, the first picture that have the rope and all that goes to the vase, Mm -hmm. so that is one of the material that you can use. You put it in a, a, a water, in a bucket of a pail. Mm -hmm. Then this is where you can put the, the I mean like the rope or uh, something that uh, can absorb the water oh, yeah. in every vase. So this actually it can long lasting for three days. Okay, so if let's say you have, um, you know, uh, that's what, uh, the, the, uh, normally this method will only long lasting for three days. Okay, this is what you have to ensure the like human body, we need to drink, we need to stay hydrated. That goes the same to the plants, right? right. So the second tip is... Yeah. I think the line is breaking, but... Yeah. True fertilizer. You don't, outside fertilizer is very expensive, like 500. The egg skin, so the eggs, and then uh, the bread, and then also the water from the rice that you wash. Okay, this uh -huh. is what you can use alternately, or you can even use it like every day. Like definitely the rice, we cook rice every day, most of yeah. us, right? So then you can use the water. Don't throw the water. You can use the water as part of the fertilizer, all right? So this is where you can save and cut costs for your. Uh, for your uh, for your garden, okay, in, in doing the gardening. And for the egg, we definitely, normally we have a tray of egg, you can just keep one tray, you have 30, 30 eggs, right? So this is whenever you 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 you, you cook an egg, so uh -huh. this is where you can keep the skin. So once it's complete, like- No, that, no, no, it's not a skin, it is the shell. Shell. Ah, yeah. Shell, I was shell, thinking, because shell, skin. Skin. shell, shell, egg shell, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh. The eggshell, yes. So the eggshell. So we can use what you can do is you dry, you wash it, you dry it up. All right, you dry it up and then you smash and then you can pour on the soil. Oh. Okay. So oh. same goes to the bread. Okay, how the bread we use as a fertilizer. The bread, you know that those those who are most expired because sometimes when it is expired, but there is no kind of uh, what we call it. No mold. Fungus. There is no mold. Oh, no mushroom. No mold yet, even though it's expired. Some of us, we are very particular. When they expire, you can't, you can't consume <laughs> it. So, right. that, this is what you can use as a natural fertilizer. So, what, how you can do it, you, you put into like, a, you know, the 1.5 liter of mineral water. So, you can smash the bread and then you put all the bread into that water, mm. in, in that uh, water bottle. And then you keep it for like the best is seven days. The minimum is four days. Okay, the best is seven days. And then after that, it will smells like a very sour thing. This is you can use as a natural fertilizer. So never ever throw your bread after this if you're interested to do the gardening. All right. So this is the second tips. And the third tips, of course, when you're doing the gardening, there's an insect pest, you know, such as, uh, you know, the, the worms, um, the grasshopper and all this is definitely this is what I have implemented and I have used through my gardening. You know the biozip. Actually, it doesn't matter whether it's biozip or what, but it has to be the the powder, the powder soap. This right. is that you can. I'm sorry, I'm not being mean, but I have to save my garden, so I'm using this soap. I I just took like like a verse a, a sorry a teaspoon, teaspoon. A teaspoon a teaspoon of this uh, powder soap. And then pour into a um, one point five liter of water, and then shake uh -huh. it, and then I can spray on the insect. It will die. Okay. And also, if you want to be nice, you know, soap sounds like, oh, it's being mean. But then don't worry. Before you eat your, your, you know, your, your plants and all, yeah, your, your, your whatever vegetables that you plant, uh -huh. you know. You can just wash it. It doesn't give you any harm, all right? And you also, you also can use the salt. Salt mixed with vinegar. 
So I actually I don't understand why because I got this tips from one of the uh, other people, uh, because they said probably it was make the the eye stings, <laughs> the uh, insect eye stings. So that's why they won't come. And then when they try to eat your vegetables, uh, they can't because of the taste. So that's why. So I'm using most of it. I'm just using all these natural candy. Kuka Kayu, actually, you can get it. Very cheap. Kuka Kayu, this one, you bought like, uh, actually, they sell for one liter. You just use like one cup of that, the cover, one cup of the cover, and for 1.5 liter of mineral water. Uh, so it's been, I've been using it for like two, three years, and then I still have almost full bottle. So this is where you can spray on your vegetables and all. But but cuka kayu is actually poison, isn't it? It's not, uh, yes, it is poison it's not, it's not for edible. the insects. But that's why when we are using it, so that's why we need to wash our vegetables. Uh, when we wash, we just wash with the salt. We just wash with salt. We can just soak in the salt. That's it. Okay, so that's how if we before we eat, we we normally we soak our vegetables and all uh, our, our vegetables in the salt water. So this is where we can. Yes. This is where we can get this all of this uh, chemicals. Oh, right? All right. Okay. okay. So the last one is trimming. So trimming is very important. So if you want you because sometimes you say, I don't know why my tree doesn't grow. It's only go one time only. It's only one time I have the fruits and all. So I think the right word is not trimming. It's called pruning. Pruning. Okay. I get pruning. Sorry for the uh -huh, mistake. Yeah. Pruning. All yeah. Right. So you have to do it at the right time and right way. Okay, right time. Why is the right time? Because like I said, in the morning, in the morning is the best time for you to do everything because, right? Because that is where your, I mean like, if let's say you're doing nighttime, what? Oh, your body is already very tired. Same goes to our plants. It has been exposed to the sunlight the whole day and they need a break. So that's why the best time is during the morning time before you do the watering and all. So that is where you do the pruning. Okay, and right way, because you don't simply pruning everything. Okay, you cut on the old branches. So this is where you can grow the, the new one. All right. Okay, so that is the three tips I'm sharing with you, which I have implemented and I have applied in my mini garden. This is my mini garden. Okay. Uh, so you have got green fingers. Yeah, so this one I have like a, a spinach and all. So I have the uh, bitter grout, I have the loofah, blackberry. Okay, so and this is the last one, my mini garden. See, this is the real one. So, yeah, okay, I can see so everything are all fresh. I can see spinach. I can see okay, it. so, so gardening actually is very satisfying, actually, if you can see the result. Right, if you can see the result like this, and then you can eat everything are all fresh, but it's just that sometimes we might be like a little bit, uh, you know, uh, demotivated because, uh, why, why I can see yours is fine, and then you know mine doesn't grow because of the way we do watering, the way we uh we get rid of all this insect pests, and also the way we do the pruning. That is very important. Sometimes people thought that we might we have to use the, the good fertilizer, you know, the 25 plus 2, 3 and all these things. Yeah, all these nitrate, things, nitrate, you know? nitrate, yeah. Yes, yeah. but actually the natural fertilizer, this is I, I have done this. I've experimented all of this and this is the result. Uh, okay, so I would like to recall if you all like to do gardening in yeah. a safe, safe way and uh, getting a healthy food that you can just plop anytime behind at your backyard so please do so <laughs> oh very good very good yeah, turn, turn. I have a question, turn. Turn. Yeah. I have a question. do do you do you keep your husband's and your children's urine to fertilize your plants oh uh, no 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 i don't do that i don't do that i heard about that ah. i heard about that but that i don't do that you, you don't you don't you don't keep your husband's urine. To... No, 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 no. Oh, no. No, because why? These things all goes into my mouth. Oh. Yeah, so that's why I say that I'm using something that we have at home. 
the eggshell. What are we? What we normally do it after we throw it away? Yeah. Throw it away, right? Yeah. So we don't see the function and the the uh what is it? The nutrient behind the eggshell. Uh, so actually, so actually it's functioning. So it works. So this is where I can just pour the eggshell. So I have a big family. I I I I do. I bought like two tray of egg in in uh, a month. So yeah. I have sixty eggshells. Okay. Turn, turn. Uh, yeah. What is the brown? What is the brown thing um, on the right side of your garden? Oh, that is from the spinach. I I make it as oh, like that? a cactus. Huh? Cactus. So, yes. You know from the spinach. Huh? You know the brown thinging, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, so actually, that is a spinach. I make it as like a, like as a crackers. Crackers. Oh. Crackers. Yes. yes. Oh, oh. Kropok bayam, what is it? Kropok bayam, and it tastes very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kropok bayam. Yes. yes. You see how my bayam, my spinach? Yeah, I can see that the spinach. Yes, yes, spinach, yes. Yeah, so uh, that is how I make it as a crackers. Ah, uh, maybe next time, next, maybe next time you teach us how to make the spinach crackers. <laughs> follow my IG, like how Nofa said that actually. Oh, follow your IG. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you, you better put your ID in the, in the chat box. 500 plus recipes, right? Uh, put, put, put the ID in your chat box, yeah? In, in the chat box. Okay, thank you very much Bye. for your sharing. Thank you so much. Uh, Tun, Tun, are yes. you a lecturer or a teacher? I still have a head nurse in the school. You're a head nurse. You're in the wrong yes. profession. Yes. You, are, yes. you are a matron. Wrong profession. <laughs> Come and join us as a trainer and as a lecturer or teacher. Ah, go go and call. Uh, yeah. go, go and meet Kat Rose. Ask Kat Rose. <laughs> Kat Rose. Like you like better being... recruit. Yeah. You better recruit a matron, Siti Hasma. Eh. Yeah. So actually, because I'm doing the training as well in the school, so I did train the students. Ah, the you, you also teach. Yes. Ah, yes. You are a good teacher. Very engaging. Um, your your students will love you because uh, the way you present, they will pay a lot of attention to you. You're very good. Yeah. yeah. Because very actually, good. I I actually I I teach from the year one actually year one to the teacher the staff as well. Uh, so multi level of. You can, you can also try you can also try continuing education. Uh, go go and ask uh, Kak Rose. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Good. Yeah good. You're very good. I'm I'm very impressed. Okay, everybody, when I count one, two, three, I want everybody to shout outstanding. Okay, outstanding. Wow. outstanding. Yeah, okay, let's go back to our main room. Let me close this room. All the rooms, yeah, okay, let's go back to the main room. I should. Okay, use okay, the screen show. Okay. Hi ladies and gentlemen, we have serious problem among our expatriate teachers. It's uh -huh. about tax, income tax. Mm -hmm. Okay, because um, already two years, we didn't invite, we don't, okay. Already, how many years we didn't invite um, uh, the speaker from the income tax? Because nowadays, uh, expatriate not understand the new rules uh, about the income tax. Their category for the what we call their salary, and also the rates, the new rates um, for the income tax. And also, what the tax relief they can put Maybe. into the yeah, e filing. So, mm. to my purpose, um, proposal. My proposal to of to solve this problem is I would like to invite a company officer to visit to. Biggest problem that I encounter when I. Um, have my lunch at I mean, the school canteen is that the vegetable serves are very oily and salty and this really really make my head sometimes like going like what is this this is a school canteen why is this happening okay and I, we have all, about what almost a thousand students in this school having 
oily and salty vegetables in our school canteen. And this is something that I think is not really, it shouldn't be happening. Okay, and this is a very worst problem um, that I think that it really needs uh, our attention, our fast actions in order to uh, look into this problem. Okay, and then some of the tables have birds droppings, and I really, uh, I really have to really, <laughs> really look properly whenever I want to see it to find a very nice cruising place for me to have my lunch, but still. Uh, couldn't, couldn't. Uh, sometimes when I turn my head and I saw, and okay, sometimes when I turn my head and I, I can see that bad droppings on the table. Uh, Even sometimes it's already been white, but still there are some like white things on it, and really make me feel like oh, I couldn't finish the food already. Yeah, yeah lose your appetite. Yeah. yeah, I lose my appetite already. Okay, so. What I can suggest is that to all of you here, um, let's educate the learning from them direct. So we, I mean, like they have the Q and A session, and then they put like one stop time where they we sit together. I mean, like one to one, they teach us on now how to claim everything from A to Z. So this is what I experienced before from the. They not only give a talk, but they also give. Uh, one to one, one to one, one claiming. Yes. Yeah. Yes. This is one. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This is yes, something uh, that you can ask yes. from them, actually. Can can. Thank you, uh, Tone. Good idea. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Very good. Okay, everybody. When I count one, two, three, I want all of you to say awesome. Okay. One, two, three. Awesome. awesome, Opa. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, next. Okay, we are we're doing very quick because we are almost out of time. Yeah, correct. To look at tables, the chairs, everything. Okay. So on to that. Please, again, for a healthy diet for our beloved students and teachers. Okay, please, I really need that all of you to be to agree and act fast on this problem. Really, really need of to uh, act fast to make sure that uh, our community, our beloved students, okay, especially our beloved students who have a good uh, environment, the canteen, uh, to have their lunch, a healthy uh, diet lunch, okay? All right. Okay, so very much. good. Okay, very good. I like that presentation. Okay. When you brought in your own experience, I sat next to I uh, when I sit when I look no. at the other table with the bird dropping stains, I lose my appetite. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. other thing is, yeah, uh if if you know if a parent or a student experiences it, yeah, or a student reports this to the parents. Yeah, this may stop the parents from sending, you know, the other siblings to the same school, to your school. Yeah, okay, so you lose that uh, opportunity yeah, for enrollment as well. Okay, so well done, very good. Okay, everybody, okay, when I count one, two, three, I want all of you to say awesome. Okay, one, two, three. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> Okay, the next one, please. Let me wait. Oh, okay. Not telling. Okay. <laughs> For everybody, a community in HIS. So this is what that I wanted to propose to the school. Maybe that this is something that we can implement that give benefits for ourselves, for your staff, and also for the company. This you can increase the productivity. So first of all, I would like to. Um, propose maybe we can do a ma yearly medical checkup because I think I like for our school rules we are doing a medical checkup when we join the school I've been in the school for 10 years and then after that I didn't do any more medical checkup and uh -huh. I don't know how my health status so I don't know how my health status is like going down age factor definitely our health status is not as good as when we are 20s going 40s so you know so that's why so I would suggest that to do a 
um, um, yearly medical checkup. This is why first thing is <clears throat> I experienced this. Uh, so, and that when they walk to the school, either they will be wet or they will be sweating. Um, because the distance of our park staff and student parking are quite far away from the school. So, um, so we don't want the parents, the students uh, to either get, get, uh, get wet or they are, they are sweat uh, when they reach school. So that is one of the, the reasons why we will need to have a uh, covered walk path uh, to the, uh, from the parking uh, to the school. Uh -huh. Second reason is because the long distance, yeah, as what I mentioned uh, in the previous slide, uh, the parking is actually, uh, there's a distance away, although it's not like super crazy far, but it's not close either. So uh, it will take about uh, about 10 minutes, uh, depending on where your part, if you are really, uh, uh, it, can, it can take up, up to as long as 10 to 15 minutes to walk from the parking to the school. So uh, uh, covered uh, walk path actually, uh, 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 park actually uh, give a more comfortable uh, uh, working experience uh, for, uh, for both uh, the student, the, the staff or the parents um, to when they are working towards the school. Supplement. Uh, supplement uh, supplements budget for about 200 ringgit, something like that. So, okay. And also we know that some of the staff also, they sometimes work around the clock. Okay, they work around the clock. Sometimes they, yes, in, in, in their contract, it's written like eight to four, but sometimes they might work, you know, throughout the night time, they might work over than that, but nothing has been given to them. Right? No. So, but what we can, okay, we know that sometimes not every company can afford to pay money in terms of money but we can give like a paid time off this is something that we can try to implement so this is that where the staff will feel that their well-being is being taken care of well by the company so you know <clears throat> giving a medical checkup a voucher of uh, healthy foods a budget on the supplements as our body needs that and also maybe a Paid time off, right? Okay, why? Because we're gonna be more productive. We're gonna have more energetic staff, high enthusiastic, and then healthy. So it is very important. Um, you know, we know the problem. The problem it has caused a lots of burdens to staff. And how I how I come up with the proposal that to improve. So those are. Uh, those are the reasons uh, uh, that I would like uh, to, uh, that's, those are the reasons why I want to propose the school to consider uh, to have cover work path uh, installed uh, in the near future. Thank you. Okay, very good, Ilohan. Very good, covered work, work path, yeah? Yeah, I agree. So if it is a distance away, the car park, then you should have a covered walk path, yeah? Okay, very good. Okay, everybody, when I count one, two, three, I want all of you to shout, very good! Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> okay, so everyone finish in this group, yeah? Yeah, you are done. Okay, hang on, yeah? Turn. Okay, next person can. No far, I think he's the next person. Any? Uh, Any? No, no, no. Captain, I, I don't have slide prepared at all, so sorry. Can Fazura can present first? Uh, yes. I was I running around the slides. It's okay, but but do you have, a, you have something to say without the PowerPoint? Uh, yes, can. I, I tell you, yes, yes. Yes, and then, then can okay. I send you to the other room for you to be for you to present there? Uh, okay, okay, sir, sir. All right, um uh, maybe I where's everybody? Okay, then I send you to the main room. <laughs> main room. <laughs> 
they've gone back to the main room. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank Please. you. It can be happened from every level of staff. It can be happens um, uh, among the manager levels, among, uh, between the uh, employees and the bosses, uh, and also among the colleagues. So it, uh, we have actually quite numbers of uh, cases that uh, we have received from HR. Uh, for example, like uh, there is a few staff not willing to work together uh, because of uh, due to the disagreements about the projects, and some more there are pointing out a small a small things uh, among others, which um, it actually um, can. Um, I mean, can broken the, their relationships. So because of this conflict, uh, because of this conflict, so not broken, uh, can break, can break, uh, can, the, break uh, can break their relationships. So because if uh, because of this conflict, um, it actually create uh, another problem, which they tend to not um, uh, communicate with other clearly. So, so from there, uh, another problem happens, which is lack of communication. So, um, I really, uh, I really chance for uh, our staff so that from there, it basically can help them. Um, I mean, to like, um, how to say to improve and then to strengthen their uh. Uh, their, their, their relationships so mm -hmm. to bring them to work uh, close uh, together so uh, although it's quite costly but it is something that maybe uh, management have to invest because it will benefit for everyone um, all, uh, including the new staff so the new staff might also uh, feel uh, I mean, feel uh, familiar and fitting in our culture and fitting in our environment. In our environment, so I believe that team building might help us actually to reduce the conflict of among among our staff, reduce the interpersonal conflict among our staff. It actually happens in every uh, companies, but. I believe it should be reduced to make everyone happy to work, to make everyone happy to work together. So I hope my proposal for this uh, team building can be approved and can be considered from your end. So yes, uh, do you have any questions so far? Hi, Fazura. Yeah. yeah so, uh, sorry, Tun here. So. Because uh, thank you, thank you for. So first, I did attend uh, some of the team building before, you know. When I attend, they didn't do all this, you know, writing. Okay, write what is your weakness, write what is your strength, you know. So this is very cliche type of a team building. So, but I would say that maybe we do some kind of sports that. Um, that we need to know how the person can control their anger, can be mm -hmm. a, a a leader. So that sports that can 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 you know that build their inner talent so this is something that maybe that is more effective instead of just doing the writing team building i would suggest on this yep yep it, uh, it can be uh, i mean uh, thanks for the suggestion yes we can have that i also think to not include much of the I mean that the writing part, uh, it's more focusing on how to strengthen the bonds within your, um, I mean, within ours, uh, within our staff. So hopefully uh, we can try to source an inter interactive or fun um, training provider that can provide a fun team building. Yeah, okay, okay. That's a good suggestion, yeah? A good suggestion, okay. Okay, let's go back to the main room. Okay, very good. Fazura, you have improved by leaps and bounds. Yeah, you're very good now. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, no, no gentlemen, ladies. 
Yeah, when I count one, two, three, I want all of you to shout. Bagus. Okay, satu, dua, tiga. Bagus, 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 bagus,